veggies are specific parts of the plant that are consumed by humans as food. They are a pack of big nutritional punch. But is every family of vegetables edible? There are 11 different families, such as the Poaceae family, the Fabaceae family, the Rosaceae family, and so on. All are potentially beneficial to health. These families are full of nutrients that your body needs. They not only give you thousands of benefits, but also make your meals appealing to your eyes. I'll tell you some simple methods which will make you fall in love with veggies. But before I do, let's start with what do they contain? Many vegetables have low fat and calories, and almost none of them contain cholesterol. They're sources of high nutrients, which include dietary fiber, folate, potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin C. They contain fiber, which makes your tummy full with fewer calories. Fiber is vital for a proper bowel movement. It helps to reduce constipation and protects you from piles. They also contain folic acid, which allows your body to make red blood cells, which limits your body to form neural tube defects. Veggies are not only responsible for nutrients, but they also claim to have phytochemicals, which include antioxidants, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. Do you know that vegetables of different colors play a different role on the nutritional level? Let's start with green. Green. Green veggies contain calcium, magnesium, iron, vitamin, carotene, and many B vitamins. They help to reduce the risk of cancers, give you energy, increase the cognitive function, help to maintain your vision, and boost your immune system. White. White veggies contain potassium, beta-glucans, and lignin. They reduce the risk of different types of cancers, such as breast, colon, and prostate cancer, by activating the B and T cells. Also maintain the hormone level, balance your cholesterol level, and boost your immunity level. Blue and purple. These veggies contain vitamin C, fiber, phenolic acid, flavonoids, and quercetin. They help to support the retinal health, good for your brain, reduce the size of tumors due to having anti-inflammatory properties, help to lower artery stiffness, and make your heart healthy and young. Orange and yellow. They contain vitamin C, flavonoids, potassium, lycopene, and beta-carotene. They protect your skin from sun rays, promote the formation of collagen, also promote against cardiovascular diseases. Very important for the night vision. Neutralize the damaging free radicals and maintain eye and skin health. And the last one is red. They contain lycopene and anthocyanins. They're also known as antioxidant that helps to reduce heart diseases and protect the eyes and also fight infections and protect against damage from tobacco smoke. But why do we neglect them? There seem to be several issues with people that don't like vegetables. Some of the examples might be that they've been allowed to eat whatever they want as children, so they take veggies for granted and prefer not to eat them. Most people grab whatever is easy, so they don't learn about artisan meals and healthy food as they get older. Some people are raised on 95% processed food, so they don't know the taste of fresh veggies. Some people are just terrible chefs, so they don't know how to cook properly and never fully realize the hidden taste within freshly cooked vegetables. Most people just don't like the taste, and if someone likes cabbage, it doesn't mean that they're going to love the feeling of okra or Brussels sprouts. That's all the negative. Now let's talk about how can we consume them. Some veggies you can eat raw, like carrots, beets, asparagus, and kohlrabi. Some might taste better cooked, like eggplant, broccoli, kale, cauliflower, and red peppers. Some veggies must always be cooked, like potatoes, legumes, green beans, and brinjal. So how can you adopt the vegetables in your life? You can experiment with the array of spices and herbs that are available and can apply different methods of cooking. You can adopt the one which suits you the most. Light sauces and spices are another delectable addition to help the relative bland nature of vegetables become more palatable. You can also grill the vegetables with olive oil, sea salt, crushed black pepper, and with smoked paprika, oregano, or rosemary depending on the vegetables. You can also look up some amazing recipes online 
and give it your personal twist. You can make soups from veggies by just boiling and adding some salt or black pepper. You can also make sweet dishes like strawberry rhubarb pie or carrot cake, just to satisfy the sweet tooth in all of us. If you don't know how to cook, then it's okay because it's all about time, temperature, and a good recipe. Veggies must form the central part of your diet. Otherwise, high calorie food makes you obese and causes nutritional imbalance. When you eat more meat and fried food, you'll get more fat, calorie, and energy, for instance. But later on, your body starts to get deficient on many minerals and vitamins, such as potassium, magnesium, vitamin A, C, and K, which results in getting a lot of health problems. Hence, if you want to live a healthy life, then try to eat a balanced diet with vegetables being an important component. Albert Einstein once said, nothing will benefit human health and increase the chances for survival of life on Earth as much as the evolution to a vegetarian diet. I hope you liked the video. Until next time, don't forget to hit the like button and also share this video to your loved ones and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Comment down below to let us know which vegetable you least like.